and welcome back. A few months ago, I made a video on the incredible health and longevity benefits of cold exposure or simply taking a cold shower. If you have not seen that video, I will link it down below. In today's video, we are talking about a more comfortable way to get some incredible health and longevity benefits that doesn't involve taking a freezing cold shower, but instead exposing ourselves to heat by sauna bathing, using a hot tub, or simply taking a hot bath. Now, for today's video, I will mostly be focusing on sauna bathing, just because most of the research we will be talking about has been done on sauna bathing. But please know that if you don't have access to a sauna, almost all of the benefits we will be talking about can also be obtained by simply taking a hot bath. Now, growing up in Germany, going to saunas was something we did quite frequently. And while I loved the ritual and knew that taking saunas had certain health benefits, I had no idea of the extensive benefits regular sauna bathing or heat therapy brought with it. But I always told my husband that once he retired and we have a real permanent home, so we are military and we move every two or three years. But I always told my husband that once he retired and we have a permanent home, I wanted a sauna. However, after doing some research for this video, I couldn't wait any longer and I got a portable sauna, which I absolutely love and use almost daily. So what are the benefits of sauna therapy or heat therapy and how are they achieved? First of all, sauna bathing is good for the heart and it decreases the risk of cardiovascular disease, which is great news because cardiovascular disease is the number one killer in the world. A 20 year Finnish study showed that taking two to three saunas per week reduced the risk of death by cardiovascular disease by 26%. Taking four to seven saunas per week reduced the risk by 58%. So a 58% reduction in cardiovascular disease, and that is huge. And it is one of the reasons I started taking regular saunas. I actually have a double gene mutation, meaning I inherited a gene mutation from each of my parents, which puts me at a higher risk of developing cardiovascular disease. So sauna bathing or heat therapy is good for the heart. It also improves mood and helps with depression. Studies have found that sauna therapy and other forms of whole body heating boost mood and alleviate depression and anxiety. One study treated subjects with major depressive disorders with a single session of whole body heating and followed them for six weeks after the heat therapy. Even six weeks after treatment, subjects showed a small but significant improvement in their depression. And that is after one heat session. So that is quite impressive. Now, the reason we think that heat therapy or sauna bathing can help improve mood and help with depression is that when we are exposed to prolonged heat, we get a bit uncomfortable and our brain then tries to compensate by producing more better endorphins. It is this production of better endorphins that makes sauna bathing or heat therapy not just a great treatment for depression, but also for chronic pain conditions such as fibromyalgia. In one study, people with fibromyalgia experienced a 33 to 77% reduction in pain after using an infrared sauna regularly. Six months after this study was done, participants still reported a 28 to 66% reduction in pain. So sauna bathing or heat therapy can be very beneficial for pain management. It can also be beneficial for injury recovery and it can boost athletic performance. On top of that, sauna bathing or heat therapy can boost brain function. The brain-derived nootropic factor or BDNF increases with regular sauna use, activating the growth of new brain cells, better maintaining existing cells and improving neuroplasticity. 
Sauna bathing can help decrease mental decline in the elderly and is associated with a lower risk of dementia. Again, a 20-year Finnish study showed that taking four to seven saunas per week reduced the risk of developing any form of dementia by 66% and the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease by 65%. And as if all of this wasn't enough, sauna bathing can mimic the effects of low to moderate intensity aerobic exercise. And we can get these same benefits from taking a sauna as we would from going on a walk or a jog. In one study, subjects were divided in three different groups. The first group only exercised. The second group exercised and took regular saunas. The third group did neither. At the end of the study, best results were found in the group combining exercise with regular sauna bathing. However, positive changes were also found in the group just sauna bathing versus no change was found in the group doing neither. And again, it is not just sauna bathing, but taking a 40 degree bath can mimic the effects of low to moderate intensity aerobic exercise. On top of that, sauna bathing can help us keep on lean muscle mass, which is quite important as we age. One study involving 23 healthy young males showed that after 12 weeks of regular saunas, lean muscle mass increased. Now, while quite a bit more research is needed on this, we do think that the increase in lean muscle mass through sauna bathing is due to the production of heat shock proteins. Heat shock proteins are a family of proteins produced by cells in response to exposure to stressful conditions. In cell cultures and animal models, heat shock proteins have previously been shown to increase muscle protein synthesis and content and increase muscle mass in response to heat stress. So that could mean that sitting in a sauna or taking a hot bath can help us keep on lean muscle mass and fight sarcopenia or the age-related loss of muscle mass, which is unfortunately something we all experience as we age. And of course, this is great news for people who can't exercise. Since preserving lean muscle mass as we age is not just important for posture, injury prevention, and to keep our metabolism nice and high, but super important for bone density. On top of possibly increasing lean muscle mass, heat shock proteins have also shown to prevent or arrest inflammatory damage. And initial clinical trials in chronic inflammatory disease have shown that heat shock proteins promote the production of anti-inflammatory cytokines. So sauna bathing, or again, taking a hot bath, can help with chronic inflammatory conditions. And on top of that, the production of anti-inflammatory cytokines promoted by heat shock proteins indicates immune regulatory potential against stress and injuries, making us more resistant to disease. And then lastly, sauna bathing can help us detox things such as heavy metals, chemicals, and even mold, which is another reason I started taking regular saunas. I have talked about in previous videos how we had to leave our old apartment because of mold. We are currently in a temporary apartment waiting to get another apartment, but we had to leave our old apartment because of mold. I tested positive for very high levels of a toxic mold metabolite called Ochatoxin A. Luckily, Ochatoxin A can be detoxed by taking regular saunas and a few supplements. So sauna bathing can help us detox, again, things such as heavy metals, chemicals, and even mold. Now, the degree of benefits is somewhat dose dependent. As some of these studies showed, taking a sauna or hot bath two to three days a week was quite beneficial. Taking one four to seven days a week was very beneficial. So I personally try to take a sauna almost daily. I would say about five to six days a week. And I try to stay in my sauna for at least 20 minutes. Again, we want to get to a point where we feel somewhat uncomfortable 
For me, that happens at about 20 minutes. And studies have shown that at about 19 minutes is when things really start to happen. So we can get some good benefits at a lesser duration, but again, we want to get a bit uncomfortable so the body has to respond and all these great things happen. So you can see how exposing ourselves to heat and getting a bit uncomfortable here and there has some incredible health and longevity benefits. I would love to know, do you take regular saunas or hot bath? Like I said, almost all of the benefits we just talked about can also be obtained by taking hot bath or using a hot tub. So do you take regular saunas, hot bath, or use a hot tub? Please let us know down below. Any questions or comments, of course, please leave them down below. You know, I would love to hear from you. If you would like more information on the sauna I use, like I said, I love it and use it almost daily. If you want more information, let me know down below. I'd be happy to talk more about it. And that's it. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so, so much for being here. Until next time. Bye.